they're running, they're always rustling to get on the job, right? Wake up at 6 o'clock, boom, get the bus, get the subway train, boom, go to work, go to the front end, come back from work, right? Exactly, uh, manly state. So sometimes when people come to the subway, I'm like, how was your day today, young lady? I ask them questions like the husband don't even ask them. I'm not saying I'm good there, but you know I am. But anyway, right? I ask them like basic questions. <laughs> I ask them basic questions. They're like, yo, the job. I'm like, I didn't ask you about your job. I'm like, how was your day today? You know what I'm saying? Are you? Yeah, how, yeah, how's you? Cause you gotta find time to like. Don't even know how they are. These exactly. And, and the power, and the, and the, the power is latent within you. Like tap into yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like tap into your inner self, the latent power. And although this is chakras, I'm using the word for lack of a better word for people to understand that. But really, we say happy sassy, or we should we say chakram uh, shimra? If you're real in yourself, if you always have that which is the glyphs, like the sun and the glyphs. But right now we speak broken English, so we should stick to the English, which should not be the language, the bastardized dialect. Some people speak it well, but you know, we should go broken English, I speak broken English, some people speak broken Spanish, but you know what it is for. But we know how to make sense. You know, so yeah, it's about tuning in and recalibrating yourself. So a lot of people who are working at 9 to 5 in the plantation don't have time to find themselves to be a stuff So they get home, boom, go to sleep, cook their meal, cook some shit in the microwave. That microwave is going to kill their food by sound, not by heat. And it's going to keep radiating in their body. The radiation is going to keep radiating, get it? That radiation is going to keep radiating, get it? That radiation the food is going to keep radiating, get it? That radiation... But you know what I'm saying, right? Now repetition of the message comes through some mental brainwashing. So they think that's the norm. So when our people go to these so-called African Caribbean takeaways and whatnot, and they get something so innocent like a red patty, what's the first thing the guy do? Dude puts it in the microwave. And it's gonna radiate that shit. Yes. So they're gonna radiate that food, and when you consume that, that food's gonna keep radiating, get it? When you consume that, that food <laughs> Oh this shit is so real. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, right now, that brainwashing, I'm here with a mental uh, conditioner and shampoo. So why would you walk past this shit? Listen, the most high put this here for me and you. So, open your mind, Craig. <laughs> Next question, let's go. We're doing the map, we're doing the map. We're on the side for the energy of nine. So somebody comes in between that. What you feeling? What you feeling? Just go, for, just go straight off the temple. Go uh -huh. for it. Your first instinct. Don't let me read your mind. No, but you know I can, but go for it. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm not gonna read your mind. Like, go ahead, go ahead. Or, or next one. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, take some weight off. You know, the black woman's got already. Stop, stop playing all this stuff on the black woman's shoulders, man. It's unfair. Yeah, it's unfair. You know. Your oh, brothers makes me like carrying the sister yeah. shopping and all that. That's the kind of thing I do. I can't speak for you all, you know. I'm just saying, no. Don't let the gutter sass put in the home, like, boom, let's, let's do this thing, like, yo, know, like, you come and do it. Throw something in the park. There's something that you want to know more about. The food you're eating, you know, why you had a headache every day, whatever it is. Yeah. First question, go ahead. Food wise, I mean, you got a question, but food wise, I mean, you know, I don't eat meat. Don't eat meat. You eat fish? No, I don't eat fish. Anymore. That's good. Yeah, you're like me. I don't eat if you were a face or nash. How's it benefited your life? Um, Compared to those who are fleshy and well, cannibal. Well, I wasn't eating all that. I've lost yeah. a lot of weight. Right. Um, I'm glad you said lighter. Lighter, yeah. Because dense food keeps you dense. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what I'm saying? And we are light beings. We're energy light beings. Calibration. So when I'm emphasizing the word light being, you think I'm just taking a fence or trying to sound cute? Well, I ain't cute like that. People like think I'm just being smart. Oh, so that still like nothing. Like dense food, what they what they use the term soul food. Mm -hmm. But that's slave food. Mm -hmm. My soul food is S O L. Soul, that's in what you'll call the sun. Like, well, the sun in this galaxy, this you know, this Milky Way. You know, come from a place where different. And right now, there's, a, there's obviously more than one sun. Yeah, there's more than one sun. I ain't just talking about the sun in there, the solar plexus, or the sun even in the ground. 
Samash or Absu. There's more than one song, but you know, we need that for another time for those who are up to date with that. So if you don't know, it's serious, 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 serious affirmation. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, somebody came past mentioned about um, um, a great aggressive humanitarian, which I like so much. So, but this great humanitarian, aggressive humanitarian was none other than Muhammad Ali. Tragic of like last week. Saying they missed the bitch and that kind of thing. That's the story. So, somebody was like breaking that down earlier. Like, yeah. And they cursed me on the box in his name. I said, I said, isn't it ironic? And I like to clown, but even like, you know, puns, when people say, you know, excuse the pun. I can make a pun out of it. You know what I'm saying? It was an upcoming debate back in life. And he was a champion, as you know, we all love him. And I was like, yo, I can't even pun this. I just put in a real serious face. And I'm, I'm known for climbing. I like to smile no matter what. I can't even smile when I was actually explaining to this young brother. The next young brother. Dope. But if I did think about the parts of the day, you know what I'm saying? Then um, ironically, that's, that's my whole point. Sad to say, ironically, when did they inject him with the parts of the day? Because we lost him like, you know, more than 20 years ago when I silenced him, right? Right. So when did they actually inject him with the parts of the day? Ironically, the people want to point the, the, the finger at like, the United States, which has never been a country. The United States of America has always been a business. A corporation, go to the South. Now, the United Kingdom, never been a country, but what do you mean go to the South? This is America, this is the first and last state. This bitch Britannia, or Queen Elizabeth's friendship. Yeah, I said it. I'm unapologetic on a man, I'm not even. Dick, that's what I love about the guys. Unapologetic, I said what he mean, and that's what he said. Back to the point. So ironically, which is sad, saying that, no pun twisted. When they injected him, his whole Parkinson's fucking lot. Yeah, that, 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 Was it after what? 74, 75? When he got interviewed by a British interviewer. You know these motherfuckers here, yeah, a different game. Man. And the show was called what? A Parkinson's show. I don't know what to say though, because I might get angry. Right. But, but, he was interviewed on the Parkinson's show. Interviewed on the Parkinson's show. And then, Hotel, and hotel. All of a sudden, uh -huh. all of a sudden, he's got Parkinson's this ease. Now, where did that come from? Like, y'all don't know AIDS is fake. Blame it on a green monkey, but we never had no sex with green monkey, and I ain't missing shit. Yeah, I never came from a fucking monkey, and somebody else did it on me. Uh, and that's no home, by the way. I'm not dissing people who are into that community. That's not my community. The community is coming to me. And I can say what the F I want to say, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't down with this PC, like you can't say what you want to say, you know what I'm saying? I remember being, like, as I explained earlier, at like elementary school, you know, my pop let me stay up towards the boxing match, Muhammad Ali. I felt she was punching the you know? But I was allowed to stay up towards the fight. I was back in 74, 75. I may be showing my age, but age ain't number number, I'm only 49. So, you know, he was my champ, he was champ. But he was unapologetic in what he said. You know what I'm saying? Because people like trying to dug him. Oh, but he didn't he didn't go to war. Dude. Shit. If there's a war right now, which there is a war, my ass ain't going to war. Incarcerate me, I ain't scared of shit. I've been in the P9. Ain't nothing fly but been in the P9, but I'm saying like, why the fuck am I gonna fight for somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Done nothing wrong to me. You know what I'm saying? So like him, like the cat before him, and like the like the dude before him, no majority, like the dude before him, do something, whatever it is. Yeah, stand up for your principles, because if you don't stand for something, you're gonna fall for anything. So I can't hate the man for not going to stand up for his principles. That's why he loved, he spoke and meant what he said. How many people do that right now? The scared is many states, but you can't say this. You can't say that. Well, I ain't even no contract with you, I ain't no contract with Queen England. I said it, Queen Elizabeth, I ain't no contact with none of y'all motherfuckers. So I can say what I want to say. I'm a free man. I never mean like free man for land. I'm going be before that shit. Before 217 Charter, uh, business people in Switzerland, the United Nations, whatever you want to call that. No. I'm free before that shit. I don't see bubbles, cities, countries, lands, and all that shit. I'm dealing with like, wow, shit, one love. 
So you all can't tell me what to do. Your, your so-called legalities is fake anyway. And it's not lawful. So I don't bow down to your ministry. I don't even recognize your jurisdiction. Like, who the fuck is you? And you can't receive me. Go ahead, y'all. He's going to say his thing. <laughs> Sorry, when I get, I got a big mouth. The royal family aren't even human anyway. They're Reptilians. Exactly. And they're, and they're German and bloody Greek anyway. Greek, and you know the Greeks come with that G thing anyway. Big G, little G. Come on, man. Don't let me get twisted. I ain't on no hate European shit. Because Europe doesn't really exist anyway. You should know. Because this really is a peninsula of Asia. Hence the word Caucasian. I'm not on some hate shit. Caucasian means dead shit in Asia. So there's no such place as Europe really. That's a move. What you're trying to get to. This is a peninsula of Asia, hence Caucasia. It's Asia, really. You think? Well, it's either here or there. But I'm saying, if you're in a country like London, England, and you live here, you're open your mind, like some people do, and they're not even left their bubble. Be certain what this place is about, because I'm shocked at how many school children don't know the basis of Windrush generation. And that's how a lot of y'all from the Caribbean islands even got here. Tilbury Docks on the east side. Liverpool Docks and Merge side, which is a good maritime oh, museum. Go there and stuff that shit, right? Uh, Bristol Docks on the west side. Cardiff. Cardiff, Tiger Bay, right? Uh, St. Paul's and all that. Go and stuff that shit, like, how can you be in a country and not even, like, check out the demographics what you so-called represent? As I said, I get love everywhere I go. I get more love in Germany than I do here. Where the Germanic people at? I get more love in Sweden, Scandinavia, Copenhagen, Austria, especially Austria, especially a little town outside Cal, uh, outside Vienna, if you'll say Vienna, uh, 10 miles outside called Cal Plas. I go anywhere on this planet. It's like BDP, I go anywhere I choose. Vienna, that's not a story. But I'm saying that, like, how can you be in a country like this and not even research it? And you'll be like dissing it, saying, yeah, motherfuck Babylon and blah, 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 fuck the Queen Burner and all that. But don't mind hand that feeds you. Because some of y'all want to complain and move. Shit, shit ain't that hard. 21st century, like, is an airplane, pay your fare, you got a passport? But oh, you shouldn't need a passport to pay for Then move! But you want to complain while you're here. Well, don't mind having to feed you then. The truth is, you're so hooked onto your microwave technology, your Coca-Cola society, you want everything in an instant. You know what I'm saying? Whereas me, I don't give a shit about this. Strip me of all this shit. Leave my ass alone. I go live in the Amazon. As I said before, man, I'd rather swing on the trees and smoke the trees and throw shit. And the reason most of you are talking shit because you're eating shit. But that's another story. I'm going to leave that for... Oh, <laughs> People here know what I'm saying. I'm going to be nice with that. Boom, we out. It's your boy, Brooklyn. Ruba, the home tree stamp. 079-302-62124. Donate to this shit if you want some more of this. Brooklyn, Ruba, 2013. At yahoo.com. We write it down. Brooklyn. B R O O K L Y N. And then another N U B A R. New Bar. Brooklyn New Bar. At 201313. At Yahoo.com. You heard me? All of them. Support, man. Bring it on. Bring it on. Where the real love at? Where that real. Wahoo, I should. Woo! See?